Alright, yo guys, Jason Mac 2 here, and today I am back and I'm going to be showing you how to install some scenery from Microsoft Flight Simulator. So the scenery we're going to be installing today is some really beautiful Gatwick scenery in London, or just slightly south of London. Uh, it's a great scenery, it fixes some bugs and all sorts that are currently in the default version of it. But yeah, I fly from Gatwick quite a lot and I enjoy the airport, so yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so here we are on the site where you can download this mod, the link for this will be in the description below. Uh, before we get started, I would just like to say if you're enjoying my content and you want to see more, please like and subscribe, it will really help me. I surpassed 150 subscribers, which I know it's not a lot, but for me that's huge. Uh, I re really appreciate all of you guys doing that. Uh, and I would like to get to 200 sometime soon as well, so yeah. Uh, 150 subscriber special will be out soon as well. That's taking some time to film and edit Right, so the installation of this mod as I said this mod is in the description below And you can just click on that link now you will have to sign into Nexus mods to be able to download this and it's very simple uh, Sign up you just put your email in it will email you a four digit code you put the four digit code in and create your Username and password and it's that simple. That's it. It will ask you for some like memberships and stuff But there's a there's some tiny white text at the bottom where you can just not have any membership um, Just have like a free account kind of thing So to download this you just click this manual button here and this will download it now I already have it downloaded actually so I'm just gonna go and find the download in my um, folders Alright guys, I found my download is in my Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 mods pack, mods um, folder sorry, and in the scenery. I can extract this now, I'm just using a regular Windows extractor, but you can use WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you prefer. Okay guys, that has finished unzipping, we can download, we can uh, sorry, delete that zip file. And here we have our nice uh, Gatwick scenery okay guys and to install this what you want to do is not copy this folder here but copy this folder that just says Gatwick or for this particular scenery that's what it is it should have kind of inside that folder it should have like this content info and scenery or, and similar stuff you want to go basically one folder back and copy and paste this so now what we can do is copy this and now we need to find our root to Microsoft Flight Simulator installation. Now, the best way to find this is you can just go to here and click run. Okay. And then I want you to type this in. Percentage sign, app data, percentage sign. Okay. And there we are. So now it has given us this. Trisha, app data, and roaming. So... Microsoft Flight Simulator, as you can see here, yours should be here. This is for Steam version, by the way, and I believe it is the same for the Microsoft Store version as well. So this is our root installation folder. Next, we can go to Packages and the Community folder. Now, here, yours might be empty. It depends on what other stuff you have installed. So I have the Airbus A320NX aircraft by Fly-By-Wire installed. If you want a video on how to install that, I have that in a card on the top right. I have done a video on that previously. Uh, and also that video contains how to install all of these liveries from the Mega Livery Pack. Yep, there's loads. <laughs> so yeah, all we can do is copy and paste that right in there. And bam, installation is done guys. Now we're going to hop into Microsoft Flight Simulator and see if it has worked. Alright guys, so here we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator and at Gatwick Airport. Alright, so let's check it out. So. So first of all, we now have one control tower 
rather than two. Before there was like a glitch, there was two control towers, not realistic. Now, we have one, and it's a really nice control tower as well, actually. Alright, next thing. We have the famous Gatwick Bridge, where you can taxi under, which is really, really nice. Actually, quite a high, uh, it's look, it looks great, actually, look at that. And I think you can actually see through it and inside it, which is really, really nice. Uh, we have some sp Spice Jet A320 there. A uh, Balik A320 there. Um, a, a 380 with a very pointy nose, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, <laughs> da -da. I don't think that's how you're supposed to park, mate. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, there's a few issues, but um, look at this. HSBC, as we actually do have on Gawick Airport, all the... Yeah, there's just HSBC everywhere. But look at this. So highly detailed. Now, it did affect my frame slightly by about 5 FPS. I'm on about 30. It's gone down to about 25, but not a huge deal. I'm not too bothered about that. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is really nice, look at it, oh. damn, it's looking good, look at the sun, anyway guys, that is how to install scenery, now I believe it's the same for all the sceneries, um, and yeah, if you have any issues, please do let me know in the, uh, look, we have even have our own little, Fire department, it looks like. I don't know if that's supposed to be blue or not. Maybe it is. I'm not too sure. But they are also looking quite nice. Yeah. You've got a United aircraft over here with a very, very pointy nose. I don't know why the aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator seem to have very pointy nose. I'd, I've, <laughs> I've got no idea. This guy's parked inside of a pole. you love to see it. But yeah, if you do want to see more, please like and subscribe. It'll really appreciate... Uh, I will really appreciate it. Uh, and it will really, really, really help me out. So yeah, Ooh, we have a nice little Boeing stand over here. We've got some aircraft inside the actual hangar, which I guess that's a work in progress thing. Because this, this scenery is still a work in progress. But yeah, nice. So yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys.